long jump, javelin throw, and the world she doesn't like the 800 meters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the seven events for you uh, making up a triathlon. How how big is a triathlon in Nigeria? Um, it's not very big, uh, so as you can imagine. It, it requires quite specialist coaching, a lot of facilities, so it can be difficult. But Nigerians are strong, um, especially the women, and it's, a, it's an event that requires a lot of strength. It's not just about being fast or being able to jump high. You need a lot of power, explosive energy and power. So Nigerians would be a perfect fit for it. Mm, that's right. So with experience in the UK, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things we should start doing? Because it's not so big, remember? Yeah. People know the high jump, they know the long jump, they know the interim meters, mm -hmm. but they don't know put it together. It's yeah. a tattler and it's done over two days. How can we start developing it with what you've seen in the UK? I think just getting young kids involved in all the events, um, not letting them specialize too early. That's what my coaches did when I was younger in the UK. They just threw us in the deep end and said, try this, try this, and try that. And you know, you develop um, the skills that you need from a young age. That's why when you get there, when you get to um, doing a full heptathlon, then, you know, you know how to do each event. That's right. That's right. Uh, what's your record in heptathlon? Uh, my best is 5,582 points. Over two days. Yes. I think you could be better. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm hoping to get to 6,000 points this year. Um, hoping to qualify for the Commonwealth Games in April and just to get to the final. Yeah, I'll tell you something. When I was preparing for the show, mm -hmm. um, I think I started writing 5,000 for your records, yeah. for your points. I wrote about 5 million. Your mom <laughs> says, she wants that so bad. <laughs> your mom is just saying, no. that, that happens. And in the high job, what's your record? Uh, 184 centimeters, so that's about 6 foot 1. Okay, so why don't you see at the Olympics in 2016? Um, realistically, it wasn't a target for me at the time, um, so I'm just I'm aiming towards the 2020 Olympics. 2020 it's more Olympics. of a realistic target. Uh, before the uh, before Tokyo, there's Gold Coast. Yes. So what's the plan for Commonwealth Games? The plan is to qualify in high jump or heptathlon, um, and to make the final in the in the high jump. Okay. So before we go back and just talk about heptathlon again, um, why are you in Nigeria? Why? Yeah, this period of time. What do you mean? Um, Christmas holidays, see my family. Um, and I recently signed with um, the Temple Management Company, so to just get my um, sporting career um, off the ground with them. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to try your shashag ball. Uh, she is an F-athlete. She had to know that I got that so <laughs> right. And she's an F-athlete. And we're taking a look at a flat loan in Nigeria and we don't get to talk about it often but remember whenever you watch um, track and field events or the Olympics you see some athletes they jump and then they go again they throw the javelin and then they go again they, they're running the 200 meters it's a whole lot of events in two days and that's what she's doing isn't so big in the country and for obvious reasons uh, you could put facilities infrastructure uh, in that one interest again you mentioned kids and the moment you mentioned kids interest came into it because mm -hmm. you know uh, kids just want to do something, yeah. play with it, and, and then know that they are dominant in that. So how do we develop that interest for Epitathlon? Um, like I said before, it's getting them involved in all the different sports so that if they don't find that they're a good sprinter, they can try jumping. If they're not um, particularly good at jumping, they can try throwing. So as well as getting them involved in all the sports of all the different events of the Heptathlon, they can then find what they're best at. Do you like the 200 meters? Yeah, yeah it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not there. bad. Um, 25 1 is my best. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the strongest sprinter, but that's where I make up for it in the jumping events. Okay, so when, when you don't do, do well in the 100 meters, you don't do well in shot put in 200 yeah. meters, you yeah. just say, oh, I'll meet you yeah. at high jump. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Uh, Epitathlon gets our attention uh, tonight on Sports Tonight, right here, Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos. That you have a professional. Uh, we're discussing it. I want you to be part of it, particularly. Uh, we're concerned with that part on how we can develop Epitathlon in Nigeria. So I would like to hear from you. Talk to us on Twitter, channels on Sports Sports, Facebook channels on Facebook. Let's go on this break. When we come back, do you know? Do you know that Motsurayo is part of the cast for the Wonder Woman movie? Let's talk about it when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Well, 
Welcome back to tonight on Channel Television. I was like, Mobi Okparak was saying all the right things about preparing for uh, the 2018 FIFA World Cup. And I mean, anytime, any day, top, top class defender Mobi Okparak when he was active for the Super Eagles. And he says, um, mentally, you see, it, it, talent is just. 90% is here. It says mentally they need to be prepared. And that was how Nigeria defeated Spain at the 1998 FIFA World Cup. It was part of that team. And so we'll continue to speak to persons with experience so that uh, when the World Cup comes, so did you do what this person said? Did the NFL do this one? We'll check. Did the technical crew led by Gano Rod, did they do this part? The players, now, do your part. Ministry for Youth and Sports, do your part. Uh, it's just January. The World Cup is in June. But hey, we will, that will go back. Listen, I mean, all of this advice, counsel that we're getting from ex internationals, we can use it. The World Cup is serious, serious business. We'll continue to uh, keep attention on this. Post tonight on Channels TV, our focus is on Epthathlon. Um, that game, uh, that sports is a track and field combined event of about seven different events yes seven different events and it's done over two days we have an heptathlete in the studio Motsurayo Ashashagbo she's been talking to us about her career and representing Nigeria and also uh, developing the sports in the country I I'm hoping that someday uh, we'll have you and some of other heptathletes come together and um, do something to develop this sport yeah definitely the idea of going into schools primary schools and just working with kids it will be fun for us it will give them an insight into our event and you know see sports and athletics as a career in the future for them as well that's right sounds good and you're multi-talented <laughs> um when eftlatlon is not working yeah. uh, you just look at yourself and say what's right you can you can do something with the movies yeah tell me about your role in wonder woman um well they were looking for like um athletic tall women in the area that I train and I went for a few auditions and they said you've got the part. <laughs> Did you use a sword? I pretended to use a <laughs> sword, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um was this, uh, what sort of role was it? Was, was it minor? Did you turn up? How many scenes did you um, play? I'm in about the first 10 minutes of the movie where um, Wonder Woman is on the island of Themyscira with the Amazonian warriors. So quite a, pom a prominent role. That's right. Okay, so uh, there, there we have it. Uh, don't, don't be afraid. She didn't use the sword. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't kill anybody. <laughs> uh, but, but that's also a good one for you. Yeah. Um, we're about to wrap up this discussion now. Let's talk about... Um, on a final note, okay. what we should be expecting from you and other epithetes in the country for 2018. Okay. So we've got the trials for the Commonwealth Games coming up next month in Uyu. And hopefully the Commonwealth Games in April. And then um, the African Champs in August. That's in Asaba. So that's really busy. Yeah. I just Very want to wish busy. you all the best. Thank yes, you so thank much, Motorayo, for stopping by. Motorayo Shashegbon, she is an F athlete. And uh, she's determined to uh, take a sport to the next level. She's ranked number two in Nigeria. And as she said, she will do all she can to compete at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. We'll continue to monitor Motorayo and all of our efforts. Post tonight on Channel TV. We'll go on a quick timeout. When we come back, in New York Bong Monday, we'll be here with us. We'll talk about the Super Eagles. We'll talk about the NNL Super 4. We'll talk about Philip Coutinho. So much. Going down at other sports, don't go anywhere, stay.